I, I'm not I'm not 70 years old, so I don't have very long experience in non-for-profits, but I've been working I've been working in this organization, movements that focuses on mostly also publishing voices about uh, the the Arab Muslim world or the also like the effects of the Arab Muslim world in Southeast Asia and Pakistan and Bangladesh and so on. And uh, I f I mean our organization is mostly we are like the third party. So we're not the ones who actually help people, but we connect to p people who have the skills to help these people. So my, my what I figured out is like building uh, partnerships as well as giving some media training to some of these activists is very necessary. So like one of the things that I figured out on like research and work on like the Middle East and secularism and all of these kinds of stuff um, is that Many activists lack the ability to give their uh, like arguments in a most eloquent way. Like if you look at the other side of the aisle, if you look at the uh, Khwan Muslimin, the Muslim Brotherhood, and uh, you see them like when they show up on television, or they have their points like one by one, straightforward. They give them 10 minutes or, or 15 minutes on television. They give their voices in a much more clearer way than you see. Look at the the secular Arab were like, oh, oh yeah, whatever, uh, I don't know. So what I figured out is that if we, um, especially like if you uh, uh, try to, when you're dealing with the activism world, dealing with the Arab uh, activism world, I think it's uh, very necessary to teach people how to do media and how to do speeches and because that would be able to uh, and also build partnerships. So what we figured out is that now so we have multiple partnerships with media. We have the Huffington Post that we publish, the Daily Beast, the Aura TV, we are, going, we are supposed to have one with them, and so many others. And each media organization has its own guideline of how you can publish. Like the article that you may write for the Huffington Post may have a very different style if you are writing for the Daily Beast or the New York Times. Or uh, So it's very... If you are like, if, if you are an activist and you know activists who are interested in getting published, because one of the main things that activists would like to do is to have their ideas spread out, right? It's like they want more people to know about them. They want to. Uh, so, knowing these guidelines, so if you are interested in publishing your thoughts or or any of that, it's very important for you to understand the guidelines of publishing and know how the publishing media works and what what type of. So, like when you have an article. You don't just send it to all the media and think, expect that everybody's going to put you on the front page of the New York Times. It doesn't work this way. Is that each company has its own guideline, has its own style. Some companies are more clickbaity right now. So, like in the social media world, there are some companies that are looking, huh? Buzzfeed. Like Buzzfeed. Oh. Yeah. It's like it's like they're looking for something that is very clickbait, like. Ten things you don't know about masturbation, or something like this. So, so they want something that uh, I, I, I'm not going to tell you right now. I'm not going to tell you right now. Um, so, so they don't like. So, if you are also looking for something, uh, the most important thing for you is to make your article go viral. Um, maybe, or you want it to spread to circles that you uh, don't want, like, because each media company has some extent has its own. Uh, loyal audience, like the New York Times as the Democrats to some extent, the Fox News of the world have their own. So try to figure out, also understand what is the uh, the audience of that of that crowd, what is the the atmosphere, what are the things that matter the most to them. So if you are talking to, I mean, if you are talking to American domestic affairs, like if you are talking to Democrats, it's not the same language you're going to talk about with Republicans because they may have different priorities of what they think is the, is the uh, or which language you think is necessary. So I think, that, I hope that's helpful if you're wanting to get published, is to understand first the guideline of the, um, of the media company, the audience, and the style of how they write the articles. And I'm going to leave the rest to Mr. Rizvi.